before becoming a magnificent palace, Kensington used to be a large house called Nottingham House. Before becoming the grand palace it is today, Kensington was once a large two-story mansion known as Nottingham House. Named Nottingham House because before it was owned by the royal family, the mansion belonged to the Earl of Nottingham. In 1689, the mansion was purchased by King William III and his wife, Queen Mary II. King William bought the luxury house for his residence within the Queen because he wanted to relieve his asthma, which was quite severe. Since then, the mansion, which was founded in 1605, has been inhabited by their lineage, who are potential heirs to the British throne. Kensington Palace is the birthplace of Queen Victoria. One of the heirs to the British throne who has lived at Kensington Palace is Queen Victoria. Not only as residence, Kensington Palace is also the birthplace of Queen Victoria and the place where she was met Queen of England at the age of 18. In the palace, Queen Victoria spent her childhood until she met her husband, Prince Albert. In addition, Kensington Palace is also the place where Queen Victoria and her husband, Prince Albert, brought together and eventually had nine children. Kensington Palace was almost torn down, but was prevented by Queen Victoria. Although many renovations have been carried out to turn it into a magnificent palace, Kensington Palace still almost collapsed. According to the riches, Kensington Palace had almost collapsed around the 1890s. By the time, the rooms at Kensington Palace were in disarray, the bridge and roof were rotting, and all conditions in the palace were very bad. As a result, many parties wanted to completely demolish Kensington Palace, but it was successfully prevented by Queen Victoria. Queen Victoria is fighting with lawmakers for funds to keep Kensington Palace from being torn down. After going through a fairly difficult battle, Queen Victoria also managed to get funds to renovate Kensington Palace. Kensington Palace has managed to recover after going through a two-year renovation process.